odrastao je u Njujorku, puno desetljeće živio u Izraelu pa stigao u Njemačku. Nakon pet berlinskih godina uskoro će se napuniti i pet drezdenskih. Na čelu je jedna od triju gradskih sinagoga, ispred kojih od Hamasova lanjskog napada na Izrael preventivno dežura njemačka policija. Naglasit će da ova sinagoga nikada nije bila metom napada, ali svjestan je statusa Drezdena kao uporišta krajnje desnice, zbog čega je u prošlosti bilo napada na neke članove židovske zajednice. I walked by there many times with my keep on. It's not something that we see. Ispod prozora sinagoge, stare željezničke tračnice kojima je put Leipziga prometovao prvi međugradski vlak u ovom dijelu Europe. Ali odavde su kretali i vlakovi kojima su put koncentracijskih logora na Baltiku i Auschwica, kazuje to i ova spomen pločica ukopana u tlo, deportirani njemački židovi. Sve o povijesti stare željezničke postaje zna i istaknuti član ovdašnje židovske zajednice. Kaže da je lokacija sinagoge izabrana ciljano, upravo ovdje, kako bi slavila židovski život. So I wouldn't say it's uh, especially right wing, yes. It became more famous because right wing extreme rights came to Dresden that started in 1990, 1990. They came to Dresden and took the bombing of Dresden as a symbol uh, for terorizm of, of the allies. Sredinom veljače na godišnjicu savezničkog bombardiranja Dresdena 1945. Kranja desnica koristi najme prigodu kako bi smrt 25.000 ljudi nastradalih od gotovo 4.000 tona ispuštenih bombi nazivala bombaškim holokaustom. Visoko uzdignuti srednji prst onih građana Dresdena koji tu tragičnu godišnjicu obilježavaju ljudskim lancem kroz cijeli grad uz moto kako gledamo u bolju budućnost. Kranja desnica zapravo je prisvojila bombardiranje grada da bi relativizirala pravi holokaust. In 2019 I was elected the first time in the city council. And I want to know who's with me there. And I know there's a big Nazi problem in Dresden. And so I make the uh, right act to, uh, to decide the um, Nazi emergency. And the situation in every normal-minded uh, way was so that nobody can um, say there's no problem but the city who <laughs> and so this this act get a majority and so the problem was shout out to the world <laughs> prije neonacista i komunistički režim bivšeg DDR-a instrumentalizirao je inače povijest govorio o imperialistima i kapitalistima koji su razorili grad this is one of the is is the most far right city in the country in the whole germany and this is a complicated uh, thing of many it's a traditional problem it was a king's city uh, so there's no emancipated civil society through it was a nazi uh, stronghold even in the in the in the socialist era in GDR uh, uh, time uh, in Saxony there was always so homeland uh, patriotism Saxony stuff Umjetnik Max Aschenbach zastupao u Dresdenskom gradskom vijeću ljevičarsku satiričku stranku Die Partei U Bundestagu ih više nema imaju zastupnika u Europskom parlamentu Dresdenski ogranak neumorno se izruguje alternativi za Njemačku i njezinoj neonacističkoj podvojenosti If you open the newspaper, uh, you uh, 
have headlines about the evil AFD paid by Russia, uh, full of Nazis. And um, I'm not often using the word bullshit, but it's bullshit. And people are believing that bullshit. They are turning on the state TV and um, nodding and believing everything which is said, even if it is a lie. So it's our task to um, unfold the truth, to tell the people what we are, what we are doing, that our objective is to strengthen the democracy, for example, by implementing um, the means of direct democracy. I think the problem is not whether they have enough space in the, in the newspapers, in the TV. The problem is that we don't discuss the reasons. And one of the problems is, even if you have extremist right-wing persons in this party, we shouldn't treat the, the voters altogether like enemies of everything. I think the reason for supporting AfD is not economy, it's uh, the injustice in the society and that the uh, story of the uh, society isn't what we see, what happens. I've met people who sympathize with IFD and I've met people who um, probably vote for the IFD. And on a personal level, at least the ones I met, they're not anti-Semites. And they're not racist, they're not... Um, bad intended towards other people. These are disappointed people from the system, from the authorities, uh, and they don't find their lives in the stories of the other parties, of the other parties. And no party, no other party has a positive promise for the future. They, have, they don't have, but uh, the far right, the Nazis, the AfD, they tell you uh, a, po a positive promise that uh, you are better than the others. You are better, and uh, they say, and uh, the, the actual authorities are evil, and, and they are true. They are right. They are evil. They are corrupt capitalists. <laughs> they are fed up by the lies in the media, they are fed up by uh, political parties uh, unable to solve uh, political problems and being lied to. So there is a deep frustration also by the, con by the consequences of inflation and by uh, bureaucracy brought by the European Union. Uh, there is no political field where we don't have problems in Germany. Beginning from the, um, the ability to defend our country, it's not there. No submarine is diving, no ship is, <laughs> is swimming, and uh, no, um, no tank is uh, shooting. Then you have the education system where we have fourth graders which are not able to read and write. We have the economic situation where the inflation uh, makes living so expensive that people are not able to answer the question how they could come to the end of the month. You can go to the inner security uh, issue. Uh, you have an increase in, uh, in crime, which is not our invention. It's on the public reports of um, the federal police, which says we have an increase um, at a level we haven't seen in 15 years, for instance. Alternativa za Njemačku daleko je ispred ostalih kada su u pitanju društvene mreže, TikTok osobito. Zato i osvajaju sve veći broj glasova mladih birača. Druga su najjača politička opcija na nacionalnoj razini, jača i od socijaldemokrata kancelara Šolca. Zastupnici AFD-a za sebe će reći da su demokratska stranka koja predstavlja medijan njemačkog društva i glas običnog njemca. We have emerged out of a situation in 2013 where um, Western governments tried to um, uh, rescue Greece on the cost of German taxpayers. Um, the people said, at the moment, where are we in that situation? And so um, it became that, uh, or so it began that uh, voters were looking for a new party. A new party was uh, founded, the AFD. And from the beginning until now, we are representing um, the interests of the ordinary people. 
and due to the fact that the old parties are still uh, making the same political mistakes they have made in 2013 um, and in 2015, the migration crisis and so on, um, we are getting stronger and stronger because the voters see that we are a serious uh, political party which, which, uh, which can be um, an alternative to the establishment here in Berlin. I don't think that they realize the problem. Um, and they don't realize that they are the problem. If, if they make a good work, nobody would vote for the fucking AfD. <laughs> so, but they do shit work, they lost the contact to the people, there's no correspondence between them, uh, and so everything they do is shit. They run after the far right to get the voters back. So they don't tell the other story, they run after them. Čelnik CDU-a Merc, koji je u prošlosti koketirao s AFD-om na tragu moguće suradnje, sada zaziva sanitarni kordon prema alternativi za Njemačku. It's a joke, it's a fake, it's not true. Last city council, the CDU vote together with the AFD. It was a mainstream news that there is no brand mower. In a way, they are afraid of us, but it's also cowardice. So they are not strong enough to, to tell the people, okay, we're working with them together in order to solve um, issues that are at stake. Um, in, instead, they um, try to hide behind a, a firewall, a kind of firewall. And that's um, a dilemma from my perspective, because either they um, stay behind the firewall, which makes us stronger, or they cooperate with us, which makes us stronger again, because then they have to admit we are no, they have to admit um, we are no Nazis. Iz AFD-a optužuju vladajuće da posljednjih deset godina zlorabe demokratske institucije kako bi spriječili njihov rast. A u zadnje dvije godine udvostručili su potporu među biračima, sada se ona kreće oko 20%. Krajnji desničari toliko jako nadiru da vlasti nanovo pišu zakone ili guraju u proceduru ustavne amandmane, a kako bi se u budućnosti spriječilo AFD-ovo preuzimanje poluga moći u sudskoj i zakonodavnoj vlasti te obavještajnoj zajednici. Alternativa za Njemačku, parlamentarna je stranka od 2017. Otad ne prestaju rasprave o zabrani rada stranke. Članak ustava tako što dozvoljava ako je ugrožena njemačka demokracija. Bio bi to, međutim, politički i tekako riskantan potes. Cijeli bi proces trajao najmanje nekoliko godina. I think we have to be very careful when we silence opinions, because once we cross that line of silencing opinions, today it's one party in charge, tomorrow it's other party in charge. And once this precedent has been crossed, um, that's how dictatorships start to exist. Or it makes it very easy to fall into that place. We are representing about 30% of voters in Eastern Germany. And I think um, a ban on the AFD would mean the, to destroy uh, the hope and the trust in democracy uh, in Germany at all. So I think therefore we won't see a ban. And actually, we see here in the parliament and we see in our program uh, and we see um, during our uh, campaign rallies that we are a fully democratic party. Our objective is to uh, restore the public order and not to endanger it. Od siječnje do danas na ulice su izašle stotine tisuća ljudi, ponavljajući zahtjev o zabrani AFD-a. Njemačke sigurnosne službe tvrde da su 10 od ukupno 28,5 tisuća članova alternative za Njemačku ekstremisti. U AFD-u uzvačaju kako Njemačka tajna služba ne uspjeva definirati ekstremizam, protiv kojeg se svakako treba boriti kakav god on predznak imao, kažu. Za njih taj termin podrazumijeva napad na politički sustav zemlje i ustav uporabom sile, a AFD to sigurno ne čini, poručuju. They define uh, extremism, extremism as um, uh, public uh, criticism of uh, the acting of the government. 
and we have seen it during the times of, coro of the corona measures in Germany. Um, the uh, Secret Service invented a new category in order to um, spy on uh, harmless people. If you are criticizing the government or you have criticized the government during Corona, then uh, they can put you in the category and tell you you're an extremist. But that's an abuse of um, the power of state, which um, doesn't fit to my conception of democracy. And that's also the reason why more people um, support us, because especially in the eastern part of Germany, they uh, remember um, the final phase of the uh, German Democratic Republic, where the state was suppressing the opposition. And the same happens from their, their perspective um, again. So they rise in order to um, protect democracy. And that is my objective too. Na istoku Njemačke na jesen ove godine AFD polaže veliki izborni ispit. Uvertira u to sudski je postupak protiv lidera alternative za Njemačku u Tiringiji, jedne od tri savezne zemlje u kojoj se u rujnu izlazi na birališta. Stranačkom tvrdolim jašu sude zbog svjesne uporebe nacističkog slogana. Govor na jednom skupu 2021. završio je s dobro znanim uzvikom Hitlerove paravojske. Sve za Njemačku. We have um, elections in uh, Thuringia, uh, Saxony and Brandenburg, which is my um, home. My home, And um, our objective is to be strong enough in order to cooperate uh, with a junior partner and lead the, the first AfD-led government in one of these states. I think it's possible that in, uh, in Saxony, in Thuringia, I'm maybe sure <laughs> um, that the AfD is the biggest party in the parliament and so the culture is that they get the minister, the government and this has fatal consequences for the culture, for the um, education, <laughs> for every social system. Um, for the refugees, for the immigrants, it's, um, for I think the police gets more repressive. Possibly culture or more left and democratic activities receive less money, but I don't think that it would be a total change. And by the way, AFD is not a Nazi party. They have Nazis. But, but it's not a Nazi party. It happened to myself here in the parliament that uh, someone called me uh, Nazi and I'm heavily insulted by this because um, it's a kind of relativization of what happened between 33 and uh, 45. And um, I think we are grown ups and we should try to uh, argue on a normal level and uh, be respectful to one another, but not to insult one another by using terms like Nazi. This is really bullshit and I have no other word for it. The IFD has or used to have um, a Jewish group with inside the party. And in the city, um, I think mainly among the Russian-speaking Jews in Germany, there are many sympathizers of IFD or who vote for the party. Um, we don't ask our members who they vote for, so we don't have that, but I would tend to believe that our community members are more towards the left because we're a liberal community. Većina današnjih srednjovječnih ili starijih istočnih Njemaca odrasla je u zatvorenom mjehuru DDR-a, bez prevelikog kontakta s vanjskim svijetom. Ta uskogrudnost očituje se i u podršci političkoj opciji koja zagovara devizu svoj na svome. Democracy, you can't eat, you can't make your daily living, yes? So I think this is one reason more in history, 30 years, 20 years ago. The next reason today is that the government rules, uh, it doesn't take up the problems of the people, I'll tell you one. Uh, we have many immigrants here. I don't think that the people are against immigrants, 
But if you don't say, we need so many, uh, such an amount of schools, we need kindergartens, we need um, health service, we have to build housings, then people f think the government is doing, what, what are they doing? Yes, they are against us. It's not so. The reason is that people are not informed what would happen and there's no plan. All the institutions what stabilizes society, a state, so they're not rooted in the society. And then I think the, the Western societies after the uh, Second World War have a, a, a liberal uh, thinking about the state, while in the Soviet zone uh, there is, well, was no break in the authoritarian state. The society has no base for liberal thinking of the state, and so fascists have an easy game. Three and a half decades after the destruction of the Berlin Zida, the former communist East is still economically stuck for the West of Germany. After the fall of the communism and the union, a year later, in five German and East European Soviet countries, a large number of people not only remain without jobs, without a work place, but also without a collective past, which made them disoriented and lost in the chaos of capitalism. The alternative for Germany has managed to reach the greatest number of these unsatisfied voters, to buy their protest voice. From that, the most important thing is politički na istoku zemlje. Promatrali se taj fenomen nije na odmet uzeti u obzir i sljedeću činjenicu. Politički vođe zapadne Njemačke nakon 1945. posjećivale su Izrael, ispričavale su se nacijama koje su porobili nacisti, a školske ekskurzije organizirano su odvođene na mjesta bivših koncentracijskih logora i u posjet spomenicima posvećenima holokaustu. U istočnoj Njemačkoj školska djeca također su organizirano posjećivala bivše koncentracijske logore, ali u povijesnim uđbenicima naglasak nije bilo bio na kolektivnoj krivnji kao u zapadnoj Njemačkoj. Umjesto toga djeca su poučavana kako su istočni Njemci potomci nacističkih žrtava. There was no discussion that it wasn't only a small group of Nazis, of fascists, yes? That it was a wide scale of people were involved. There was no discussion here. And again, in small towns in Western Germany, they asked who was our teacher after the war, yes, what did he do before? Nobody had this question here. Guilt is not something that anyone likes to carry. And I think that as a grandchild of Holocaust survivors myself, I mean, my grandparents were in concentration camps, my grandmother was in uh, Auschwitz, uh, Bergen-Belsen, Theresienstadt, which is not far from here. She had a number on her hand. Um, I, I moved to Germany after my grandparents passed away. So I'm not sure what their reaction would be for, for me being in Germany in the first place. I, I think now, um, almost 80 years later, we should look to the future and we should focus on what can we do together to ensure a better future for our world. And we have to remember the past in order not to repeat it. But not as something that we carry around with us and are busy with it all the time. There are so many activities against uh, AFD or against the right wing. For example, in Pirna, where now there is a Lord Mayor who was supported by AFD. At least I know two groups, very active, who go to schools, who give, are giving lectures about, let's call it altogether, democracy, yes? Predavanja najmlađima o demokraciji i svemu što je u nju utkano, očito su u Njemačkoj i više nego potrebna. Jer mjesto pijeteta posvećeno holokaustu u središtu Berlina, jedan od AFD-ovih jastrebova nazvao je spomenikom srama, pozvavši pritom Njemce da za 180 stupnjeva promijene kolektivnu svijest prema tom dijelu svoje povijesti. Ja sam u Berlinu, gdje je father koji je učinio svoj šestvijeljog čovjeka. Ona je učinio što je man na svojom svojom. I je učinio što je učinio svojom 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 in comparison to Christians. And then he said to her, we should be really proud that Jewish people 
feel safe enough to come back to Germany and wear a keep on the street, our streets here. And that's something you see quite often. I am so well known in Dresden. I am active uh, since over more than 30 years in newspapers and everywhere, yes? In TV and so on. Never, never, never I had any problem. I do think that in, in the moment, overall, the fear is more from the Muslim side than from the German side. Um, besides the very terrible attack on the synagogue in Halle a few years ago on Yom Kippur, I think most of the attacks come from the Muslim side or from the Arab side. And this is something that Germany really has to um, think about. You know, how do we make sure, how does Germany make sure that Jewish people feel safe in Germany and that we get to practice our religion, our culture, our heritage in a way like all other people living in Germany. Njemačka mora duboko udahnuti i razmisliti i o svojim skrivenim demonima. Počinje suđenje članovima zadireničke desničarske terorističke organizacije koji su prije ukićenja krajem 2022. kovali plano i izazivanju građanskog rata u Njemačkoj i pripremali državni udar te uspostavu ni manje ni više nego rajha. I tekako umreženi u vojnim, obavještajnim i pravosudnim krugovima gomilali su vojsku spremno na pokret i orušje. Na čelu skupine koja ne priznaje suvremenu njemačku državu, a među kojima su i članovi AFD-a, bio je antisemitski nastrojeni biznismen, potomak aristokratske obitelji. What I've read is a lot of things and um, I see that the media is not trustworthy anymore. So um, I uh, wait until a judge says in the end they are guilty or not guilty. And if they are guilty, they have to go to jail. And if they're not guilty, they should be free. So um, it's not up to me to decide whether they are guilty now because I don't know what really happened. I, don't, I haven't seen any weapons, I haven't seen any statements. Rješenje imigrantskog pitanja tražilo se na tajnom sastanku u Potsdamu, na kojemu su za isti stol sjeli predstavnici AFD-a i CDU-a. Nakon što je sve iscurilo van, zgražanje javnosti izazvao je ondje korišteni termin remigracija, koji podrazumijeva prisilne masovne deportacije imigranata, čak i ako imaju njemačko državljanstvo. Remigration is for us a bundle of measures which is necessary in order to um, stop the migration chaos. We have seen that our institutions are not uh, able anymore to solve the problems which um, emerged out of uh, the open, open border policy. And uh, we tried to solve that problem by um, sending back foreigners which have no right to be here to their home countries. Um, those are people which have no permit to be here, people uh, who are criminals, people who are um, over years depending on our social benefit system. AFD se zalaže naravno za koncept utvrde Europe i strogu kontrolu migracija i njemačkih granica. U zemlji u kojoj je više od 30% populacije migrantskog porijekla. Za to vrijeme njemačko stanovništvo ubrzano stari. Jedna od posljedica tog procesa bit će manjak i do 7 milijuna radnika u sljedećih 10 godina. Remigracija stoga podrazumijeva i povratak Njemaca u Njemačku. We have now a population 5 million people higher than 10 years ago and we still are talking about the lack of workforce. So obviously the people that came to Germany were not able to solve the the labor market problems. And actually we see a different approach to solving the problems. We should invest more in automation and digitization in order to be independent from migration in the labor market because we see within the European Union that we take um, the workforce from Romania, Poland, Croatia, the West Balkans, and all the countries say, uh, stop here, we have a problem which is called brain drain. And can it be our objective to, to economically, uh, uh, to economically uh, destabilize our European neighbors? I, I don't think so. I see no ideas in the other parties. Um, and I think the AfD takes away of a party. Uh, and they 
are a more evil version of them. Often labeling groups of people and just putting them into a drawer and saying, okay, now you are this, and therefore we're not going to talk to you, and therefore you're evil, um, often creates a certain distance that it's hard to come back from. If somebody from the AFD says, we need a kindergarten, and we could have the money from this point, I don't think that the other parties can be in opposition. They have to support it. So it's practical on a low political level, yes? In little towns, and in little towns, in little communities, it's normal that they work together. That is our objective. Um, we are always uh, ready and prepared to cooperate. Uh, and that is our understanding f from a democratic system, to work together in order to solve problems the people have or see. So erecting firewalls is as far as I see it um, against the understanding and the idea of democracy. We are going to schools as Jews. Tell them what Judaism is means for us today about we're talking about Israel and because our parents were refugees in, in England or anywhere else, yes? So we can talk about topics that are AFD topics, but we talk about the experience of our families. There is one thing we ask ourselves here as Jewish people. Should the situation become really bad? Should we really be again in a situation that we as Jewish people are in danger here? Will we this time notice it on time to flee? That's a question people are asking themselves here. We don't feel it at the moment, but should it happen, will we at least notice it on time this time? This is a society isn't more in, in aware that if you point one, if you point one group uh, and say there are no rules for them, then every other group, every other minority uh, could, could be spotted next. U Sasko je obrana KFDA i službeno proglašen ekstremističkim. Politike alternative za Njemačku i ostalih ekstremno desnih stranaka osudili su i biskupi Istočne Njemačke. Predsjednik Njemačke biskupske konferencije poručio je pak da nije moguće biti katolik i podupirati AFD. Certain individuals that do have anti-Semitic opinions or do have racist opinions or do attack um, foreigners is of course something that's despicable. And in a democratic republic like Germany, it is the country's job to make sure that things that are happening against the law should be prosecuted and punished to the fullest extent. And especially in Germany, where we have a history of um, radical ideas becoming very, very terrible. It's something where the German um, system has to really be careful about it and think about what is the world thinking about Germany and how does Germany remain a democratic country where everyone has the same freedoms and is, and is treated equally. Krajnja desnica lako pušta korijenje ondje gdje postoji strah, iz kojega se velikim dijelom potom generira i mržnja. Strah od promjena, strah od drugih i drugačijih. Stranke koje na predstojećim evropskim izborima igraju na tu kartu, uključujući i AFD, skupile su se pod skutima identitarijanaca. Our constitution says we need to protect our borders and uh, Immigrants from third countries um, have no right to apply for asylum. That is what our constitution says. And uh, then they tell us, the establishment, no, 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 our constitution is not of importance. The European Union says you must take all the people. So solving the migration policy means regaining sovereignty. That means the capability of dealing with problems. And if the European Union is not allowing us solving our own problems, we have to take back control. That means we have to reduce the European Union uh, to, um, uh, to uh, the uh, Europe of fatherlands. That means that we have 
several countries being able solving their own problems and maybe united by um, a, a, a common market, for instance, but not with a constitution like uh, the European Parliament or the European Commission in Brussels, which is intervening too much into national policy. Kako sada stvari stoje, AFD će postati druga najjača njemačka stranka u Europarlamentu, ponavljajući mantru o zaštiti onoga što je naše, naša zemlja, naša zastava, naša kultura, naša nacija. I'm happy that we have democracy. Yes, I wouldn't vote them. But I understand that people under the pressure of of bureaucracy, under the pressure of of the governmental behavior that they re uh, vote extreme right. As Brecht already said, Bertolt Brecht, yes, zuerst kommt das Fressen, dann die Moral. First the food and then the moral. Ako smo nešto naučili iz povijesti, to je da ne učimo iz povijesti. Autoritarni rasistički režimi mogu na vlast doći i demokratski nakon izbora. Tim je značajniji plan od 13 točaka koji je njemačka vlada donijela u veljači ove godine, a koji kaže da će se koristiti svi instrumenti vladavine prava kako bi se zaštitila njemačka demokracija.